arrived um, at All Star Shore, who did you think was going to be the biggest threat in the competition and or the person you wanted as a partner? It seemed from the beginning you were drawn toward both Tamaris and Melinda. Chase was a big guy. So obviously, whenever we're thinking of something like physical, you know, I was like, he'd be a good partner. Um, but I also knew that there were going to be so many curveballs, like maybe they would make the games like not physically difficult just to kind of like mess with him. Yeah. Um, and also, you know, I didn't know if it was going to be like a guy and a girl type of team or something like that. So you just kind of like, didn't know it was more about just like seeing who you vibe with, seeing who you have like a good, who like you get along with and, and have a good head on your shoulder, who has a good head on their shoulders. And then you can figure it out from there. So I did click with Tamara's and Melinda, like, you know, right away. So I was like, all right, like maybe one of them, because I, I'm just clicking with them in life. Yeah. So maybe they'd be a good partner. Was there anyone out of the group who surprised you or was different than you expected? Like from knowing them from their shows or had seen them, seen them before or something, were they different than how you expected they would be? Um, it's a good question. Um, well, not really. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. Like a lot of times, like these shows are international. So I'm not going to lie. I didn't know much about like, right. um, a lot of the other ones. Uh, Tamaris, I think, was a little bit probably different. I thought that she was going to come in and be like the sexy, hot player girl that, you know, is like whatever. And, and she ended up being like such a sweetheart, you know, like just like a very, just like very nice girl, <laughs> you know. And uh, but yeah, I mean, so, yeah, she definitely surprised me. Um, speaking of Tamaris, I spoke to Tamaris and Javi last week, um, and they jo jokingly said, uh, mainly Tamaris, that you were bragging a bit about being on several shows, obviously Jersey, Dancing with the Stars. Um, what do you think about that? <laughs> do you think you were like that? So, so uh, I've never bragged about that. Um, however, I do have a habit and a tendency of bringing up dancing with the stars and comparing it to other things that I've done because like a lot of times if like I'm in I mean like I've been on 15 seasons of Jersey Shore like I'm right. not gonna sit here and brag about dancing with the stars but I do bring it up because like it was one of the hardest things I've ever done in my life and I compare a lot of things in life to it like if I ever have to do something that's like a high pressure situation I'll be like Girl, you don't know pressure on Dancing with the Stars. I had to like perform the tango in front of millions of people live on Monday night after learning it for three days, you know? So if that's bragging, then fine. But I don't, I don't think it is. It's almost <laughs> also, like- I did it. Also, I have done a lot of stuff in my life that I talk about. So I don't, you know, sorry that you guys don't. Oh. <laughs> I mean, they, little things come out. It's almost like, you know, Dancing with the Stars is almost like you, everyone has like that one job that like you always think about, like, damn, like this is a hard day, but it was nothing compared to like that. And I had way. just done it also. Like right. um, we filmed All Star Shore a while ago now. Dance with the Star was my last project right before that. So it was fresh in your mind. Yeah. So yeah, I would bring that up. And like I said, I, I don't really bring anything else up, but that, that show does like, is like a big, uh, it changes you. <laughs> Um, so some people on the show, like Tamaris, um, have been on shows that were a little more competitive. Obviously, Dancing with the Stars is competitive. Yeah, um, we're bringing like, it up already. I know, here I was like, I'm bringing it up. Okay. So do you think, like, your past gave you an advantage or a disadvantage versus other people who have been on, like, you know, um, other competition shows? I honestly think that, um, I mean, look, like, any kind of past things that you've done on a competition show can give you just like a little bit more confidence and stuff. But on this show, the games are so wacky that you can't figure them out. Right. I have like, you know, there's a couple like little nerdy genius producers that are like thinking of these games and no matter how good you, you know, like, like even chase, like no matter how athletic you are or whatever, like some things are like just completely random. Like what's most random is like, who will understand certain games and who won't understand certain games? Like there are some people that 
you can have something like insanely difficult that like it just clicks in their mind. And like then you have some people that, you know, this is so easy and I can't do it. It's almost like taking the SATs or something like that. You know, right. like some people are just like really good at certain things. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's just a crapshoot. You just really every, everything. Everything is built for like er anybody to win it. Well, that's good. Did Angelina give you any advice about All Star Shore? Um, she did give me a little bit of advice. Um, I didn't like call her for like a, a big powwow or anything. I'm just glad that she did it just to kind of see one cast member go through it because right. before her, it was just like a brand new show. Mm -hmm. So she was like the guinea pig in that way. Exactly. So, <laughs> you know, like I, I saw what I needed to see. I'm like, all right. <laughs> Silly party games mixed with the shore. I, I can handle that. <laughs> right. Um, so there were already some sparks flying and a hookup in the first episode. How steamy can viewers expect this season to get? Were there some shocking pairings that you were like surprised to learn about? Like, oh my God, did not see that coming. Super steamy. Um, you know, these, the, okay. So from, from the, from the new school kids, they're just going crazy. I mean, they're partying, they're hooking up. Like I haven't seen hooking up like that in a long time where like, you just don't care. Like you could just hook up with someone who you're not gonna even like talk to the next day kind of thing. Um, so that's from their end. And then from my end, I also got steamy because like it was the first time I'm around like hot single people in a long time. Right. So like, you know, I'm single, they're single. It's, it, it was it was taking me from another, it was putting me in a, in a more like thriving environment for myself, you know? Yeah. Unlike your other classmates. Like, not in like a, a dating situation, like double shot at love, like so high stakes. It was just kind of like, see who you click with. Like here's some like people that are single and, and I'm like, yeah, I, I can get behind this. All shared room. Were there any moments where like you were trying to sleep and someone was like hooking up next to you? Like, how do you react in that situation? Did it bring you back to like early Jersey Shore days at all? <laughs> um, yeah, it was uh, the, 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 the living situation out there was 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 kind of interesting. We were just on this like in this villa on this island in the middle of Columbia. Um, right. But, you know, uh, yeah, it was definitely like the shore house type of vibe and uh it always caused like different drama the next day and stuff like that but um yeah i made sure that i i i made sure that i older og vinny has to get his sleep so let's uh let's make sure that um nobody bothers me type of thing. right right sleep is important <laughs> and then whatever um, they're doing whatever the crazy people are doing like let them do do all that they're like i'm too old for this i can't mm -hmm. Um, so I have seen episodes one and two. Um, at the end of episode two, you make a move on Tamaris and kiss her on the cheek. And she says, thank you. Mm. Um, without giving too much away, um, can we expect that you have more luck with Tamaris down the line or maybe someone else later in the season, hopefully? Well, I'm pretty sure in the trailer, you like see me getting into bed with her and saying, you yeah. know, talk, talking about the smush room. So I think... Yeah. That answers your question right there. Yeah. So, you know, uh, yeah, I don't care. I'm not, I'm not thirsty at all. Like I've, uh, my whole phase is, is over. So, um, you know, if someone wants to kiss me on the cheek, that's fine. If they want to hold my hand, that's fine. Whenever it gets to that point of physical, like let it happen naturally. Um, you know, it's just not like I'm 19 anymore. And it's like, you didn't smash? Like, no, like I don't, I don't care. Like, you know what I mean? Right. I actually <laughs> sometimes prefer to go to sleep by myself at 35. <laughs> this is a party show. Um, how did everyone hold up? Was it difficult to get up the next day and do a competition, especially if it involved brain games? You were saying, you know, some of the competitions were not what you expected they would be. So, um, you know, I don't want to say it like this is an, anom an anomaly because I did this in my 20s, but these kids never got hung over. They partied every night no hangovers up the next day begging for more drinks <laughs> like they were like the exact opposite of you know so some people were more chill some people didn't really drink and stuff but some people were like 
But, you know, like, come on, this is their, some people, it's their second show they've ever done. It's, you know, right. they're, they're, they're young. They, they, some people are 20, I don't even know, 23 or something like that, where they want to just, they're still in like fun party mode, you know? So this, this Jersey Shore franchise truly is finding partiers from all over the world and um, putting them in a house together. And I got to experience like living with them because, um, you know, I, I still live with partiers, but they do it in a different way. They usually drink like eight bottles of wine and just like pass out for a week, you know? Right. That's surprising that they didn't get hung over. I'm like, oh, my gosh. Like, I'm But we didn't. But we didn't either. We every day in Seaside. I mean, <laughs> Nicole used to chug vodka in the in the shower like, uh, you know, like our hangovers lasted like 10 minutes. We'd wake up. We'd be like, all right, I'm a little messed up from last night. Let's go to the gym. And then we would do it for like 40 days in a row. It, so. it cracked me up that at one point in one of the episodes that I watched, um, you had explained to someone um, what uh, puke and rally meant because mm. they didn't know what it meant. And I'm like, I guess I'm like, is that a U.S. thing? I guess it is. Well, I think they said that on all on uh, what was that show? Florida Bama Shore. Oh, puke yes. Rally. But like, uh, yeah, I mean, it's disgusting. I've never done it before, but I, I definitely have felt better after a nice puke after th after drinking. So let's set the record straight. Which show partied the hardest? No one can touch Jersey Shore in terms of the way that we partied for old years. And still to this day, the way that, I mean, not all of us, but some of my, some of my castmates still party. Um, I mean, nothing can touch the original OG show. Like no one can party as hard as we did. Like I said, we did it every single day. We did day parties, night parties, like we were going crazy, like we were wild. Um, so now, and it's funny, like now they still do it as like moms. <laughs> but um, obviously our show is like not just about partying anymore.